and hi guys good afternoon how are you guys doing my name is Vurola, as usual and i'm your host on this channel 7k <laughs> we're almost at 7k guys i am so excited congratulations to all of us all butterflies congratulations to you so i wanted to just you guys about some of the um um things i've been going through in brazil you know guys i've not had time <laughs> but i know some of you miss me <laughs> anyways if you're following me on my instagram you will not miss me that much uh you probably asked me why am i not doing videos on youtube again one of you even asked me today that's why i picked up my camera and said to shoot why did i decide to learn portuguese why after staying two years in brazil why did i go to a portuguese school to learn portuguese okay so guys the first thing is that um you'll be completely useless if you do not not completely because there are people that do not speak portuguese in brazil living in brazil and they are doing fine but if you intend that uh to uh well, no let me put it like this if you know that you will not do fine like probably you don't have a tech job where you're working from uh from home for u.s company um you're not like a business person or a uh, uh someone that the parent already has money and you just you don't need brazil for anything you're just there for the internet for the light and for the easy life beach going out stuff like that then you won't have problem here without the language but if you intend to live in brazil be in the system go to school work on a business do stuff in brazil legally legally you must learn the language okay so basically i'm going to tell you a story of why i was even triggered to go learn portuguese language without wasting much of your time let's get right into this video guys my uber is almost arriving <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> if you're looking for a dresser in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, Madureira, come and patronize and see Ginny inside Madureira, first floor, four story building by your left when you get into the market. It's difficult to find African breeders here in Brazil. So when you come, come and patronize her. Wow, look at this hair, guys. Look at my hair, guys. Oh my god. Beautiful. So I just got home now. And I'm sure my mom and my sister how they look like. What do you think? This is what you want to do. Yeah? It's fun. Okay. I think it's cheaper. It's too real. It's okay. It's better than that girl. Well, they don't like this fellow. Can she do twist? Uh, it's not twist she did. I want to do twist. Look at my hair, mommy. Look at your girl. Like Nigeria, eh? Are we? Not really. Not really. Well, oh, I'm like that. I'll do more. She'll make it really tiny. That's micro twist. Yeah. Lucky. Like something like that. Let's yeah! Save my money! Only Welcome back, guys. So basically, um, I just came back from making my hair. This is what my hair looks like. So beautiful i am in love with the edge style Woo! i love it when africans do my hair so anyways guys not wasting much of your time let me get right into this video why did i decide to learn portuguese maybe that was why i got successful at it and was able to study it in a very fast period of time and get the certification so number one motive for me to study portuguese or to go to portuguese school was that you cannot do anything without Portuguese in Brazil. It's almost tough to be able to do anything tangible in Brazil without you speaking the language. Even if it's just the go, come, I sleep, I wake up, I do this, I move. 
you know, basic communication, there's no problem. But not knowing anything at all. Nah, fam. You would actually, there's a repercussion for that. It would tell somewhere. You understand? It would tell on you somewhere. So basically, for me, what really triggered me was, uh, let's just call this a story time video, okay? What really triggered me was uh, um, uh, surrounding neighbors. So basically, uh, you don't speak Portuguese, and then there's always somebody trying to mock your accent, or somebody trying to make jest of you when you're trying to communicate, or you go somewhere and you don't have internet, you want to buy something, and you can't tell them that this is what I want because you don't have internet, or because you don't know the name of what you want. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Some of you might not understand the level of embarrassment until you actually get here and experience it or you get to a country that speaks other languages that are not english until you experience it and you now realize that ah Uriala said this thing that time or she said this thing it's true so anyways uh um you want to go to the market you don't know what you want to buy you that google it down before you get there you want to uh, uh discuss with friends you want to make friends but you can't talk because what what do you want to say they don't speak english you don't speak portuguese what does that mean? what do you want to say yoruba oh what nobody understands any of your native languages here only like little little few few nobody can really pick if you find someone that speaks english very well trust me they're going to use you to learn english Instead of you to use them to learn Portuguese, they will use you to learn English. So you'll be speaking, ah, I go, I come. Yeah, very good, very good. And then there's you who doesn't understand. Como vai? In Portuguese. <laughs> so my own motive was to be able to do stuff by myself without being stranded. I want to go to the supermarket or if I'm not with my phone or with my internet, I can't, you can't do anything basically you're not looking well unless you stay in the rich neighborhood the copacabana ipanema those places have a lot of tourists okay so you will find english speakers there okay so that means you're coming as a tourist not that you are living in brazil those are two different things okay my number two reason for studying language portuguese is that um there used to be one supermarket, no supermarket, let's just say a shop, but it's bigger than a shop. But it's not a supermarket, okay? So it's very close to, I won't give specific details, okay? So this supermarket, the um, cashiers or receptionists, I don't know what they call them here, always have an attitude like, oh, they speak, in, they realize that we speak English because sometimes, uh, you want to buy something, you don't know the word, you don't you know those kind of wala. So, uh, they, they just, they, they just develop one kind hatred, you know, it's, you know, it was born out of jealousy, that kind of thing. So, you know, when you, eat, so when you go there, you want to buy a uh, washing soap. Eh, can you go, can you call? We only speak Portuguese, yeah. Eh, eh, ah. Hey. The first two times that thing happened to me, I thought it was a joke. But then it was happening with my sibling and my mom too. I was like, ah, no, no, no. I'm not taking this shit. You can disrespect me, but don't go, don't go to my people. You are going to see my other. I can be nice, so hey. But if you try me, hey, you will see the other side of me. So not me, or you can disrespect, insult me, slap me. But if you try my people, hey. <laughs> So, as I was saying, they were really disrespecting my sibling. I was like, ah, this shit shouldn't be happening. We are patronizing you. We are giving you money. Even if we don't speak Portuguese, we are paying for a service. We are paying something. We are buying something from you. And, you know, there should be customer relation. You know, relationship or something like respect or something like If you don't speak the language, we don't have to discuss. We don't have to communicate. We don't even have to be friends. Do you understand me? So... I realized that there was something like something going on, you know, blah, 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 blah. Every time you go there, you want to buy this. There's always this attitude like, mm, Americana, you know, they're trying to call you or you both, trying to call you from US, all this kind of thing. Ah, then I thought about what can I do? I need to go and learn this language. <laughs> My dear, 
Since I learned the language, hey, one of them tried me in that supermarket. <laughs> one of them tried me the wrong time. She never knows say I don't go learn the language. She now tried me. Guys, you need to see me speaking spoken. <laughs> You need to ask him if I had my first fight in Portuguese. You want to tell me? I don't know. Bem, bem aqui. Bem aqui. Você tá maluco? Eu também maluco. I told her that if you are mad, I am mad. I'm an African. Okay, so come back here. And you know the funny thing? People like this that I have this kind of behavior. You know, every time I portray Brazilians to be nice, sweet people. But then everybody in Brazil aren't Brazilians. There are people from Southern America that are also in Brazil, Chile, Colombia, this, that, any country that is a bordering Brazil. They also are in Brazil, Bolivia, all those people. So I just believe that when stuff like that, when people like that, when I meet people like that, at any point in uh, my relationship with people here in Brazil and then uh, the person is messing up, you know, acting very corny Acting very, you know, very somehow. I just have this confusion in my mind that mm, This one is not a Brazilian because I have tested Brazilians niceness Their kindness Unsolicited kindness. I've tested it that when the other side when i taste the other this thing i just know for sure that these people cannot be of this it's not the same blood this person is a foreigner this person is an immigrant from another country that just looks like them you know you can't tell them apart it's like somebody from let's say nigeria for example somebody from chad or from bene is you know in nigeria and is treating foreigners in a bad way and then you just know that this person is not in Nigeria. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This person is from Bengal or from Chad or from Ghana. You understand that kind of feeling? That's how it feels for me, yeah. I just have this conviction that this one is from... I just give them one country, Bolivia. <laughs> oh, this one cannot be a Brazilian at all. Because Brazilians basically are very nice, good people. Okay, so... um, Although sometimes I might be a Brazilian, it's just my way of... Balancing the whole thing that they can be niceness and they can be wickedness in this world Do you get? So just my own way of trying to balance it that ah! Wickedness and niceness <laughs> in the same universe by the same person you can't you, you can't sometimes you can't You know you can't Understand this well. You just be like ah! How? Who train these people? Then they have the same training and all Blah, blah, blah. And sometimes, most of the time, they act like um, robots. Like they have unified behavior, unified thinking, unified. So when somebody does the other side, you will just know that something is wrong somewhere about this person. Okay, so um, best might be Brazilian, but probably parents from outside another country. But that's what I just used to make myself happy. So when this babe tried this thing again, after she has collected my portuguese certificate she did not know that i'm going to portuguese school collected my certificate and i'm ready for her papa <laughs> she tried it with me that day and i told her come you do it with my sister you do it with my mom you will not try this nonsense with me you will you end it today and guess what guys they sacked her the owner of the property sacked the lady we don't see her anymore the owner of the property apologized which is a brazilian thing Apologize, spoke to me that doesn't want to fight, you know, in the same neighborhood. There's no need, but it's all love, you understand? That's all love, yeah, all love. Okay, so she acting out or behaving weird because, oh, foreigners, this foreigner, that, because the language is not sweet, was not sweet in our mouth, or because, uh, um, you know, just want to bully somebody and just do somebody a scapegoat, you know, kind of thing. So, I was happy that I was able to resolve it and I was happy that she was out. They sent her out. And then, um, you know, it's just been better. Those kind of things will motivate you that, why am I learning Portuguese? Do I just want to learn it? Do I just want to... I'm not going to... The person doesn't want to go to school anymore. 
they are going with university they are even elderly people they are married they don't have they have children they don't want to go to school again so what are they going to learn portuguese for my dear portuguese is not only learning for going to school okay it's not only for i want to go to go and study uh, law so i'm going to study portuguese if you know you're going to live in this brazil you must study portuguese if you don't have time to study it in physical school go to online school if you don't have time for online school or money to pay go to youtube there are blessed people giving out information on youtube okay follow these accounts back to back leave now so that girl that is doing pop the balloon <laughs> guys you watch that video too because i watch it a lot i've become addicted to that video guys the uh single lady pop the balloon <laughs> Leave that channel small and go and learn Portuguese, okay? No, no, I'm not saying watch her video, go, I beg go. I'm not saying don't watch her, but use small data and watch Portuguese videos too, okay? And then uh, um, let something motivate you to study Portuguese. So, guys, that's my story. That's why I studied Portuguese, and it's been a wonderful journey. Uh, all true. Okay, so some of my one year trying to go learn Portuguese because of school. No, I studied Portuguese because I wanted to be able to communicate. I want to be able to see my mind. I want to be able to speak to the bus driver and tell him where I'm going to or when I'm coming down. I want to be able to go to supermarket and buy things by myself without needing that. Oh, I need my son to follow me. Oh, I need a translator. La 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 la. la this that that. I want to be able to sell market because we are business owners. Sell markets without having the uh, no tenji, no tenji, no tenji. I don't understand. I don't understand. The person you get tired, customer run. If you don't understand, let me work ten times. So that's all, guys. Uh, I just made my hair from Auntie Janine, the best African air plug in Brazil. If you do not patronize Auntie Janine in Rio, you are missing. This is how my hair used to be in Nigeria. Look at guys. Look at. This is how my hair used to. This is what I used to do to my natural hair in Nigeria. And I'm so excited to do it again after so many years of not doing it. Can you see? She did it tonight. It took her about three hours. And that's because she had other clients. Okay. But when she began, it was like under an hour plus or two hours. And she was done. Only her. When in Brazil, you find yourself in Brazil, you're visiting, you're passing by, and you're in Rio. Come to Auntie Janine's shop to make your hair. She just moved to a bigger place, so come and patronize her. Okay, her hand is very good. See, very good. I'm going to carry this off another like two weeks before I then braid my hair, guys. I just got home and I'm very tired. I need to take a break, have my bath, go to bed. I just had to make this video for you guys. So you won't miss me too much. I know why I studied Portuguese. I'm also going to tell you later detailed information, which I think I already did before, on what school that you can study this Portuguese, guys. I've told you time to the number. Watch my videos, please. These things are free information. Okay, free information. I've told you, I've put it somewhere before. I can't remember. I'll check. If I can't find it, I'll put it on this video. There's a school in Brazil that allows you to study Portuguese and they also give you student visa. But it is not free. Okay? They give you one year student visa or six years, six months student visa, which is renewable every year or every two, two years, depending on what kind of package you have with them. Okay? So, their details, their name, the courses they offer. When you're done, they give you a certificate. You can use a certificate to apply for anything you want to apply for. Naturalization, this is this, that, that, that. Depends on you. But that's all where me I went to. No. But I know people that have gone through it and they've been successful with it. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Guys, we are 7K subscribers. of you guys think my page is worthy of subscription i love you guys so much but i flies you guys are the best thing you are the best oh my god i can't keep calm we clocked 7k today oh i love you guys so much
kisses love many more content coming your way i'm going to spoil you guys soon i have a big announcement coming soon but after this week i promise to give it to you big announcement for all africans this one is for africans this one is for my people my people you guys should get ready sit back and wait i have something good news coming for you right thank you guys for watching see you seven thousand